you had this matchup tonight, and you would think, uh, by all accounts, this would be a dream matchup. Even at the beginning of the year, if I said, hey, it's going to be Cleveland and Golden State, you go, okay, I may not want to see it again, but it is the best matchup. Although Jeff Van Gundy was quoted as saying, Houston was a half, you know, they were the second half away from winning the NBA championship, not getting to the NBA finals, because he was saying they were going to be Cleveland as well. I think Cleveland would have a better chance against Houston than they do Golden State. But you can't say Cleveland doesn't have a chance. They do, because they're on the floor. They have at least four games against Golden State. So you can't say they have no chance. Now, the chances are long. One of the bigger underdogs in NBA history and one of the biggest underdogs in a seven-game series format in any team sport. But here we are with LeBron James, and there's always that possibility. So you got a dream matchup, and everybody looks at this and says, maybe they get a win. Maybe one win out of this. The gentlemen sweep five games. I go back to when Philadelphia was playing the Lakers, and this is when Allen Iverson went off, and they won in overtime. They were big underdogs, and rightfully so, because that was not a good team at all. And then they got beat. So they won one, and then they lost four straight. The New Jersey Nets, when they were in the NBA Finals, not a powerhouse team, um, and it proved, you know, to be correct. You know, they they had, they were no match in the NBA Finals either. And now you have this team. I have two LeBron teams in the Finals that aren't very good. Uh, the, the first one he went with when they they went and played San Antonio, it was just a different. You looked at that and you went, one's an NBA team and one is not an NBA team, uh, and that that proved to be uh, true. This team is a little bit better than that, but not a whole lot better than that. Uh, but we, you know, we have game one. Watch it if you want. If you don't, don't watch it. But, you know, I like how people feel like they're at gunpoint where they have to watch this. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. But it feels like more people would be watching Golden State versus Cleveland than if Houston was playing Cleveland. So if I put in another, if I put in Houston against Boston, are more eyes going to be on that than Golden State and Cleveland? That's something new, right? That's what you want. It's fresh. No, more people are still going to be watching this. Cleveland against Golden State. You might be watching because you're hoping LeBron pulls off the surprise. You might be watching because you want LeBron to be swept. You might watch because you want to see Golden State dominate. Or that they get shocked. They get humbled. But you're going to watch. And maybe you're not glued to it. Maybe it's not compelling. Maybe you're going to have blowouts. But it feels like there could be some magic here. And it might be one of those situations we've seen before. If you go back to the late 60s, this might have been 1969, where Jerry West was the MVP and the Lakers lost. They lost the championship and he was the MVP. And I think Jerry averaged over 40 points in that series. LeBron, a couple of years ago, when he was down three games to one, we speculated on this show, could he still be the MVP even if Golden State won, well, they proved to be the MVP as Cleveland came back and beat Golden State. So there is some fun, some magic to it. Maybe there is the possibility of something shocking, a surprise. But I'll go back to what I've said many, many years now. You still get a chance to see LeBron James play, and there's not going to be anybody like him ever again. And then you have Golden State. We could be seeing another dynasty here. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.